We hope this training video will aid you in the use of the D5 drilling machine. This instructional video is only to be used as a training aid. It is not intended as a replacement for the operating instructions or repair manuals. Inspect pipe surface and area saddle is to be located, avoiding areas of deep pitting or other surface defects which could prevent saddle from sealing properly on pipe. Clean pipe surface thoroughly and check saddle O-ring seal for damage. Tighten nuts evenly. Lubricate all working parts with non-toxic mineral oil. Keep all threaded surfaces and boring bar well lubricated and free from dirt and foreign material. Keep the oil holes of these machines clean at all times. Advance boring bar until the drill holder and bit may be attached. Coat the outside of the drill bit with Mueller cutting grease. Retract boring bar to its rearmost position. Apply non-hardening pipe sealant or Teflon tape to the valve, stop, or fitting that is to be drilled through. Attach drilling machine and machine adapter nipple to the fitting that is to be drilled through. Advance boring bar until the drill or pilot drill contacts the pipe to be drilled. Retract boring bar a slight amount. Adjust feed tube and yoke so that the yoke is engaged with the top of the friction collar on boring bar. Raise pivot arm of locking mechanism on side of yoke so that it is positioned under friction collar and lock in place with operating screw. Place the gear case and motor on the drilling machine aligning the sockets with the square shanks on the boring bar and feed yoke. The socket that contacts the feed yoke should be closed and wing nut securely. Set position of air or electric motor switch to give clockwise rotation of boring bar. Continue drilling operation until pipe is drilled through completely. This can be determined by the feel of the feeding mechanism, the pull of the ratchet handle, or by measuring the advance of the boring bar. If drilling is not completed, retract boring bar slightly and ratchet and feed slowly to remove the remaining metal a little at a time. Remove power operator from boring bar. Reattach ratchet handle to aid in riding out the boring bar. When drilling operation is completed, turn the operating screw on locking mechanism counterclockwise to unlock pivot arm. Remove feed yoke from friction collar and retract boring bar to its rearmost position. Be sure the drill or pilot drill clears the valve gate or key of the stop. The pressure inside of the drilling machine will tend to raise the boring bar. Hold down on the boring bar or use the feed yoke to control the upward motion of the boring bar, thereby preventing shock or damage to the drilling machine. Close the valve stop or fitting being used. Remove the drilling machine after being used. Clean dirt and foreign material from the machine and equipment. Lubricate machine and give drilling tools a slight coat of oil to protect them from rust. The service line can now be connected. This concludes this training video on the D5 drilling machine. One of a continuing series of training and instructional videos from Mueller Company.